birdied his first hole of the day today to get him one back of the lead as we go back to the 11th. Third shot for Armour. Yeah, Ryan looking to back on track after that opening bogey. Let's keep doing that, buddy. Keep doing that. I had some nice audio. Beauty. Just make it. Yeah, Come sure. On. Just Box. make Let's it. Go. I'm back. I'm back what in the part. back of president of the fan club. Let's go. Class there from Eric. Could he be in that next 10? Really dicey hole location, back center on the 13th. A lot of guys going to be putting from this location, and Beauty. not much, not going to do much better than that, obviously. This for the outright lead for Van Royen. Straight up the hill, not a lot of break to it, and holy cow, look what we got. You don't have to carry it with a lot of pace because they are so quick. They got to go in. Well, let's see what Joel Damon learned. Boy, give these guys a read and they'll go to town. How about that? Tea time, early wake up call. Is jet lag still part of the deal? I don't know. I know he's only 23. Hang on. That's nice. <laughs> 110 for Snedeker. And not many players over the last 30 years have made more money from 110 and in than Snedeker. Svensson to get to minus six. Well, it wasn't the best of wedge shots, but at least he's putting up the hill. You hit it hard enough. Oh. Mm. Harrison Endicott, he made a big move today. He certainly did bogey free, five under par yesterday. Comes back with a wonderful round, highlighted by this long one here at the seventh. To shoot seven under with only one bogey on his card. Really nice round. Back to four. Oh, there. Oh, that's pretty. Second shot now for Grant Snedeker at the sixth. 205, way back out of the rough, but this is just all over it. What a shot is this? Boy, Robert, how good is that? Barely breaking from right to left the whole way. Just kind of funnel it down in there, and if you're lucky, it might catch a piece of the hole. See? Nice pin for him, cut over there on that left side. Second shot for Obear. Now what a tee shot, first of all. Taking full advantage of it. Wow. Just went astray for a few holes. Go in. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That is so good. That I is why golf is a full letter word right there. Gotta imagine this is a seven iron for Tom. On a good line. <laughs> Just give it another one. I mean, come on, right? dude. Just give him another come one. Come on. <laughs> I tell you what. Lisa, I'm going to give her the day off. I'm turning my mic off. It's just all you, brother. Okay. All you. Come on, I can you carry take it. it. I on. can carry it for the next three hours. <laughs> I'm sure you could. Go ahead to the ninth. Second shot for Tom Hoagie. Going to get back on that birdie train. Come on back. Getting it inside of Kevin Kisner. He, he just needed you. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lot of times I hear nice bogey right at impact, and uh, <laughs> it usually doesn't turn out too bad because he hits a pretty nice. Mm. Uh -huh. Great putt there by Scott. Yeah, big putt for Scott there. The par three, a birdie opportunity. Putting way uphill, big right to left breaking putt. Do not want to miss this whole location to the left today, so that's the safe side. And what a roll. What a roll. Oh, wow, Kevin Kisner. Good to see him back out playing. Took some time off at the end of the FedEx Cup playoff season here, and uh, it's good to see him playing good in his first week back in a while. And here's Cameron Champ as Smiley Kaufman is with this group. 
Drove it way down to 85 yards and pulling the string on this one. Not a bad first live shot of golf here. And Wags, you've played a bunch of golf with Scott. Here's a guy that's not traditionally a great putter, but he gained two strokes on the greens yesterday. Yeah, when he gets it, ooh, <laughs> when he gets it going, he <laughs> wins golf tournaments. When he has his best putting weeks, it's a, it's a remarkable how good of a ball striker he is. If you look at the places he's won, it's really the strength of his game. Up ahead, one to the 12th, third shot here for K.H. Lee. Just love the rhythm on that. Oh, oh back that stroke. pretty. Had such great tempo back and through. It was like a one-to-one -one motion, same speed down. That's how you get that contact and that check. 14th, Kelly Crafts. Third shot. Get it, yes. Eagle for Kelly Crafts. And that is big for him as he goes from four to six under. And Johnson, as you talked about, that cut line probably at five. Second shot for Hughes at the 12th. Just a gap wedge to the front right hole location, taking dead aim. Oh yeah, he's he's going for it right now. Smiley, you're, you're a guy from, from down south. Would you be afraid of the, the alligators? This was a moment ago. Wesley Bryant's fourth at the 11th. Why wouldn't you? We've seen him hit quite a few nice wedges this week. And another one here. Right, good call. Mm -hmm. Kevin Kisner, fine in the form. Henrik Norlander has this birdie to get one back of the leaders. Really accessible hole location today at the difficult sixth, middle left. Norlander able to pour it in. And look at him, just one shot back, tied with Chess and Hadley. Five in a bunker on 15 at Quell Hollow, at my home course one time. Fourth leg, just a moment ago at the 10th. Nicely done. So go on, Johnson. What was that? Well, and, and, you just and, did and, to hold and, that thought. If it's an animal, it was at Mayakoba back in 2011. Just a little bit of right to left. Pretty flat putt from this angle. Norlander's got it. It's now a four-way tie at 12 under. Following up his 65 in the first round. How about Ben Griffin for Eagle at the 14th from just about 90 feet? Do it. Do it. Oh, it did it. <laughs> That's great. Griffin moves into a tie for the lead. He's at 12 under after that Eagle. Second shot at 18. To this front left hole location, Tom is a beautiful drawer of the golf ball. Should be a green light flag. Uh, yeah, that was a green light. A moment ago at 14. Really talented young rookie, has so much power. How about some touch? Whoa! Oh, a little eagle for Brent Grant. <laughs> And he gets it to go. A birdie for Griffin at the 17th. He's now nine under on the round, 14 under for the tournament. This a must make to get to the cut line. He's going to have a ton of swing from right to left. Really hard to keep it above the hole. We've seen a number of guys back here. And look at this. Look at this. Oh, wow. Sound like he caught that a little heavy. Who wants it to sit? Oh man, is this guy on fire? Not a rough day for Ben Griffin. A great day for him. Nine under on the day. He finished two shots clear of Norlander, Endicott, List, and Yuan. How about Harry Higgs up there? A lot of guys looking for their first PGA Tour win. You got Chesson Hadley on that front page with one, Luke List with one win. Peter Quest, what a year he's had. Eric Van Royen ended his day with an eagle hole out at the ninth. 